All right, in about a week and a half, the Pro Football Hall of Fame Selection Committee will decide the class of 22. Inductees will be announced on February 10th. Former St. Louis Rams wide receiver Torrey Holt is one of those finalists. He's hoping the third time is the charm. And he'll, uh, will he join former Greatest Show on Turf teammates Kurt Warner, Marshall Fall, guys at Bruce, Aeneas Williams? Will he get that gold jacket? We're all hoping. Tori Holt joins us live this morning via Skype. Wait a minute, are you doing the bob and weave for us live right now? Live right now, bob yeah. and weave. This is, this is specifically for St. Louis. I couldn't wait to do this. What's I up, St. Louis? I love it, Tori. I don't know if you remember this. Do you remember you taught me how to do that live on TV on a Sunday night program, I think, in the 90s? I was that terrible. Was, yeah, that was <laughs> well, it's, 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 it's pretty simple. And it's fun, and it's even better when you do it with a group as you're seeing right here. Oh, yeah. Tommy Newton, one of our offensive of guards, he had to make sure that he was in on the bob and weave. So, no, it was a fantastic time, a fantastic dance, and something that will live on forever. All right. So, you are nominated again for the third time. You're now a finalist. And if you look at all the other finalists, are you sizing up the competition to see what your chances are of finally getting in, Tori? You know what? I, um, I'm, I'm super excited. It is a fantastic class, Randy. And so many guys all deserving. Um, when you think about uh, myself and, and Rondé Barber, um, Tony Baselli, Reggie Wayne, the list goes on of just great football players uh, that are finalists for the Hall. But it's my turn, Randy. Um, I've oh. waited uh, for, you know, I've been, a, semi, I've been a finalist now for, the, for three straight years. Um, and I watched my classmates that I got drafted with, like uh, Champ Bailey and Edron James. Those guys are going in the Hall. My teammates, Isaac, Orlando. Guys that win the hall. Now it's my turn yes, to be indeed. into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Well, we are seeing now that the Rams are in LA, and we see you kind of on social media doing things out in LA. But you know, we yeah. St. Louisans still claim you as our own. We were there with you in the dome. Do you still feel a connection to the city despite the team moving? Yes, absolutely. With us being able to win a championship, a world championship for the city of St. Louis, for the St. Louis Rams, I'm always going to be I'm always going to represent St. Louis though the team is out in Los Angeles and I love the team uh, still and I represent as you all know but St. Louis is home that is where I grew up that was my first opportunity in the introduction to the National Football League so to the folks in St. Louis thank you I love you I miss mm -hmm. you and I'm going to always represent St. Louis I'm going to always represent the love greatest it. show on turf <laughs> the Bob and Weave and we know that you did have a plan a uh, trip planned here to St. Louis to talk about your charitable foundation you have with your brother Terrence, it's called the Holt Brothers yes. Foundation. You focus on kids who are impacted by a parent's cancer, something we normally don't see people focusing on. Yeah, it, it's a, um, our foundation and what we do is very rare. You know, we focus, like you just mentioned, Randy, we focus on kids with a parent or guardian that's battling cancer. And we provide emotional and educational support and peer empathy for those kids. And we work with Siteman's Cancer Center right there in St. Charles. We also have a relationship with Barnes Jewish. And this past year, we sent, we were able to scholarship grant four kids from our Kids Can program that are now going off to university. We were able to, we were able to grant those kids some scholarship dollars to help them in the spring to further their education. Kids can, kids can still achieve and accomplish anything they want, though their parent or guardian is battling cancer. And Hope Brothers Foundation is happy to help. Oh wow, still making an impact in St. Louis. Back to the Hall of Fame now. How can St. Louis Rams fans get in on the Hall of Fame fan vote for you? Yes, go to ProFootballHallOfFame.com and uh, as the Hall of Fame fan vote, and you can vote for me as many times as you want, St. Louis. I need your help. I need your votes. It's um, it's a testament to our t my team, my, my teammates, and the job that I did playing the National Football League. But well, you can go to www.ProFootballHallOfFame.com slash fan vote and vote for Tory Holt for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Yeah, and the fans were the 12th man, no doubt. Uh, so when yes. you do get that gold jacket and you're enshrined in Canton, will you do the bob and weave? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, how can I not do the bob and weave? And matter of fact, I'll have Kurt, I'll have Marshall, I have uh, Isaac, I have Aeneas, I have all of us doing the bob and weave representing St. Louis. Fantastic. I think we all should learn that dance so when the day comes we can all celebrate with you. Tori Holt, next time you get here in person, we'll be happy to see you and uh, hopefully Absolutely. celebrate a Hall of Fame induction. And we'll make sure all of our viewers know about your website, your foundation, and to vote for you in the Hall of Fame. Tori Holt, thank you so much. Thank you, Randy. Love you, St. Louis. Peace.